Hey guys, it's Johnny Tech Review. Today I have a review for you of this Cronova XPE 700 DLP projector. So as you can see here, this is pretty much everything that comes in the package. You have the power adapter here, and it plugs into the back right now. You have the projector, you have a remote control to control it, and then you have here an HDMI cable, kind of small like a USB cable, and then a user manual that has a pretty detailed instruction on how to use the product. So here's the projector as you can see, and I have it uh, connected to this tripod right here. This is the tripod that actually comes with it. And so of course they use a typical tripod thread, so you can use that on any tripod, which is quite nice. Uh, the previous projector I reviewed, the small projector, did not come with any mounting mechanism, which uh, really bothers me. But this one, really great design, I like that. And this a little tripod here, you can lock this up, you can uh, loosen this and move it around. But the leg here is kind of, you know, kind of loose and flexible. So you can kind of push it in a different position because it's a, such a light projector. You can do that. You can push it down to a different direction. You can stand it up a little a bit higher. So it actually is pretty useful. And uh, I find that uh, use is pretty good. And if you need to mount it higher, for example, off the ground, you can use a regular tripod. So up top here, you have a little Cronova a logo right here, DLP, two LED lights to indicate power and uh, battery charging status and then on the side here you have a menu adjust the knob this is for the focus the power button here is uh, the up and down for kind of menu control you can do it here instead of using the remote the back here you have the power input you have HDMI a USB stick this is to plug in your media and you can play on it and audio out again very nice features because uh, the speakers is included here but it's not that loud and, uh, and if you want to provide audio out to speakers you can do that so this unit have solved pretty much everything that I complained with the previous 8-man projector and on the right side here you have a outlet for the fan so when the unit run you can kind of hear it running it's a pretty loud and I'll show you that a little bit later when I demo a live version of it so this projector will support HDMI in up at 1080p however the projector native resolution is not 1080p of course it's actually 854 by 480 so it's kind of like a 480 projector uh, so that kind of give you an idea of the quality uh, I'll show you that later again the quality of this and kind of give you an idea how bright it is and uh, it has also a built-in 4000 milliamp battery what that means is that you can charge the unit and then use it on the fly so to turn it on you just have to hold down this button and keep holding it down for a few seconds when you just bow just right like come on and it'll turn green as far as the lumen in this projector is uh, rated at 65 lumen so that's quite small and not very bright and uh, yes that's true you have to use this kind of indoor kind of in the dark if you have a lot of windows opening you're not gonna be able to see a lot of light so uh, yes it's a pretty small projector for a room uh, and it's a portable projector so keep that in mind it's not gonna give you that bright lumen uh, when the projector is running you will definitely notice the sound and then the heat will escape out of this vent and you can definitely feel a little bit hot so that's the side here is my Android box kind of give you an idea it's pretty much about the same size it's kind of impressive and then you have that built-in multimedia player that's able to play music movies uh, videos pictures etc it works pretty well so guys to give you an idea how loud this is currently that's the projector down there i have it on a chair down it comes with a little uh, mini tripod so i put it on there kind of give you an idea how loud that is and i am this far away from it so we are roughly about i would say eight ten feet from the wall and that kind of give you an idea it's about seven o'clock in the morning and uh, there's no sun out yet but uh, there's a skylight right above that and kind of give you an idea how bright this is as far as this projector kind of give you an idea though and you can kind of hear how loud the projector is there's a fan running right now so there's a little bit of white noise in the background that's from the projector so i'm using the remote control of course let's uh, try movies i have a few files in here and usb stick so we're gonna go ahead and try one of my review so you hear the viewing sound And that kind of give you an idea of the sound quality. When you press pause here, you can see all the different options that you have down here. So we can pick one of these options here, of course. So setting, you can see you can have repeat mode or picture mode. So here in picture mode, you can change the uh, different standard, sport, movies, vivid, gentle, gaming, standard. Go ahead and leave that. I'm going to go back out real quick here. So here in one of the movie blind, you can see when the movies have a dark scene and you have a bright day like this. Uh, you can kind of see it's a little bit dim so definitely the projector is not really designed to use in daylight but uh, definitely with a little small window like this you can still be able to handle it if you're doing like a powerpoint presentation playing a little game i think that works fine but if you have a movie that's dark scene like this the projector will struggle because it's a very small projector and the uh, limit is not that high you can also try pictures we go to pictures here of course i have some pictures on this usb stick 
you can just go ahead and click on it so I have it set for every three seconds to switch a picture can I give you an idea get out of this menu here so some of the food picture I took over the weekend so right now with the light being out it's a little bit bright but can I give you an idea so overall guys as you can see the projector works pretty well and it's pretty fast to boot up uh, you can use it uh, on battery or you can use it using the included power adapter either way it works fine oh by the way on battery it's about two hour runtime in case you were wondering uh, so that actually works well i like the projector features i uh, allow you to hang it allow you to mount it using the tripod thread and then the audio out is a really a bonus because a lot of time you know the speaker here is definitely too small and if you want to have a louder sound then this is a possibility when you use the unit so there's not much to complain about uh, i guess the lumen could be a little bit better but for the size and the price of each unit i'm uh, pretty satisfied with it so guys that's pretty much conclude my quick review i hope this little review help you in your purchase decision if you find the video helpful please like it and subscribe and stay tuned for future review thank you